Happy November, boys and girls. Today we're going to be making a turkey card that you can give to somebody for Thanksgiving or a thank you or a happy birthday if someone has a November birthday. Please put out all your pieces. And this time there's some really small ones, so be careful you don't drop them on the floor. You should have two little orange feet, <clears throat> an orange triangle for his nose, two brown pieces that kind of look like duck feet. Here, I'll put this so you can see better there, like duck feet. And then one piece that looks like this. This little red one I did not put in your bags because it was just too small. So when you're ready for this, just come to the back table, please, to get one. You should also have a brown stick. That's going to be a little sign. Two uh, white pieces. One is slightly smaller than the other, so be sure they're not the same size. You have two <clears throat> orange, one yellow, two red, and two of a different kind of orange. All right, so we're going to start with our uh, feather part first. So you're going to get the brown backing, and we're going to put the feathers on. I recommend you lay it out ahead of time. So you can see, you know, what order you want to put them in. You do not need to put them in the same order that I am doing it. You can choose any way you want. I think I like it better this way. See, you could try this way. You could try a different pattern. Completely up to you. I'm going this way, I think. All right, so once you've laid it out, so you kind of know what you want it to look like, go ahead and start gluing them on. And remember, this is just a small piece of paper, so you only need a little bit of glue. You want to be sure the border here is kind of even for all your pieces. And it doesn't matter what happens in the middle because you're going to be covering that up. Okay, I'm going to put it like this. Just make sure it's in the center here. And just keep going around. By the way, there were a few red pieces that didn't cut real cleanly with the Cricut. If that's the case, if you have parts that are kind of hanging off, just use a pair of scissors and you can trim it if you want. Okay, so there's my tail feathers. This is going to be glued onto the big card now. Just be careful that you're putting the big card, you know, facing the right direction so that it opens the right way. The stick is supposed to be on the left-hand side. Okay, so make sure that's on the left-hand side. And once again, you want to be sure you get the borders as straight as you can so that the edge looks the same all the way around. It just looks nicer that way. Okay. Then you're going to put your little uh, turkey body. This little top part of his head. Sorry, can you see that? It should be facing this way. It sort of looks like a sideways heart. Because when you glue on the other pieces, it kind of has to be facing that way. You're going to put them right here. Remember, match the borders. Okay, and then between his feet, there's a little square. You could just pluck that out. Some of you might already have it gone, but sometimes it gets stuck. Then we put his little feet on. And remember, just a dot of glue. Put on his feet. And if you're having trouble, like, you know, because they're real little, sometimes I use a um, pencil to help me, the pencil point. It's up to you, though. Okay, and this one, oops, his leg's a little crooked there. Go. Okay, and then we're going to put on his um, <coughs> little feathers for his wings. And this part is for his head at the top here. Okay, so what I would do is I just put like a little dog glue everywhere because it's too hard to try and put it on the little piece. So I just put a dog glue there. I'll catch his little head. 
head feathers first. And just go wings. Remember, it doesn't have to match perfectly, but try to get it on top. Oops. There's his beak. And then the little teeny weeny little red like raindrop that you're supposed to come get at the back of the room. That's like his waddle. And that little red thing that hangs down. Put that here. Okay. Now the eyes, there are two choices. I have Google eyes that you can glue on or you can cut out your own if you want a certain shape. Because the eyes of anything always make it look the way you want the best. So you can choose whether you want Google eyes or um, if you want to cut some out. And go on his little sign. His little sign is going to say whatever you want to say. It could say Happy Thanksgiving. And try to make it match the border. I remember, you can make it say Happy Thanksgiving. You can make it say Happy Birthday. You can say Thank You, like if someone invited you over for a Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, and you can put the sign, you know, any way you want. So you can, like, put them both the same way. You can put them opposite. It's up to you. Okay, and there. Okay, now I'm going to put on his Google Eyes. Like I said, it's always easier to put the glue on the flat object instead of the little piece. And then you can just stick this on top. And you're going to need to leave it to dry for a little while because it's going to be kind of... Sorry, there's a glare there. You're going to need it to dry so that uh, the eyes don't fall off. Okay? Oops. All right. Thank you.